in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And today, my dear friends, as we come to celebrate this Eucharist, we see how the ministry of Jesus of reaching out to people is continued by the apostles. And today let us pray for that grace that we be the ministers who bring hope and healing to all. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery in a worthy manner by recalling to our own minds our own unworthiness, our own sinfulness and ask for God's pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in the font of baptism have made new those who believe in you, keep safe those reborn in Christ, that defeating every onslaught of error, they may faithfully preserve the grace of your blessing through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The church throughout Judea, Galilee, and Samaria had peace and was built up, living in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, it increased in numbers. Now as Peter went here and there among all the believers, he came down also to the saints living in Leda. There he found a man named Anas, who had been bedridden for eight years, for he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Anas, just Jesus Christ heals you. Just get up and make your bed. And immediately he got up. And all the residents of Leda and Sharon saw him and turned to the Lord. Now in Joppa there was a disciple whose name was Tabitha, which in Greek is Dokra. She was devoted in good works and acts of charity. At that time, she became ill and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in a room upstairs. Since Leda was near Joppa, the disciples who heard that Peter was there sent two men to him with a request, Please come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them. And when he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs. All the widows stood beside him, weeping and showing, showing tunics and other clothing that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter put all of them outside and then he knelt down and prayed. And he turned to the body and said, Tabitha, get up. Then she opened her eyes 
and seeing Peter, she sat up. He gave her his hand and helped her up. Then calling the saints and widows, he showed her to be alive. This became <coughs> known throughout Joppa and many believed in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm What return can I make to the Lord for all that he gives to me? What return can I make to the Lord for all that he gives to me? What shall I return to the Lord for all his bounty to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. Response, what return can I make to the Lord for all that he gives to me? I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. Response, what return can I make to the Lord for all he gives, gives to me? O Lord, I am your servant, the child of your serving girl. You have loosed my bonds. I will offer to you a thanksgiving sacrifice and call on the name of the Lord. Response, what return can I make to the Lord for all that he gives to me? Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia your words lord are spirit and life you have the words of eternal everlasting life alleluia alleluia the lord be with you a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord jesus said to the people very truly i tell you unless you eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood you have no life in you. When many of his disciples heard it, they said, This teaching is difficult. Who can accept it? But Jesus, being aware that his disciples were complaining about it, and said to them, Does this offend you? Then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before. It is the spirit that gives life. The flesh is useless. The words that I spoke, I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But among you there are some who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the first who were the ones that did not believe. And who was the one that would betray him? And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to, to me unless it is granted by the Father. Because of this, many of his disciples turned back and no longer went about with him. So Jesus asked the twelve, Do you also wish to go away? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the beautiful ministries I enjoy doing is to bring the Holy Communion to the patients. I admire and I always touched by the eagerness of the people waiting to receive Jesus in the Holy Communion. At one time, when I went to visit a woman who was uh, sad because she was not able to communicate with others 
and with me and adding with a protective gown she could not recognize me and finally I made the sign of the cross and showed her the Holy Communion trying to make all the hand gestures to build up a communication. Suddenly when she saw the Holy Communion she got up with a big smile made a sign of the cross and said her prayers in her own language and with great joy received the Holy Communion. Later I found that she went and joined all the other programs and always joyful and happy to meet others. Visiting the sick is one of the greatest ministries in the church we have where we can bring care and comfort and consolation to the members of our community. Today we hear how the apostles and Peter in particular uh, continue the ministry of Jesus of bringing healing and good news to everyone. Today I would like to thank all of you who do this wonderful ministry of bringing healing and hope to others. This ministry is began by Jesus himself and called each one of us to continue it. So my dear friends, let us do our ministry in the church with prayer and patience, care and compassion, bringing healing and hope, love and life. Amen. We shall put before our God all our prayers and intentions. We pray in a special way for all who do this wonderful ministry of visiting the sick and caring for the lonely. That God may bless them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who need healing, who are lonely, who have lost hope, who need a helping hand. May the healing presence of God be upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who bring comfort and care to others. We pray for all the essential workers who help others, protect others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for families, families where there are difficult relationships. We pray for better relations between the members of the family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and loving Father, we offer you all these prayers and those prayers buried deep in our hearts. We offer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you fruit of divine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands 
for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all God's holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Jesus never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. Jesus is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy and the entire people of God. I would like to offer this Mass for all of your personal intentions, intentions of thanksgiving for healing or repose of soul of someone who has died in your family or in your community. We also offer this Mass for the intentions of Faye Santos and her family, the intentions of uh, uh, Guadalupe Frontes and her family, uh, for the healing of uh, Alfredo Florentino Beer, and the repose of soul of Teresa Chen, Wendy Jiang, Mariana Chimana. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph's spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all your saints we are pleased throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and 
have all. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. And let us extend the peace of Christ to those who need the most. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ to bring us life everlasting. Amen. Spiritual Communion Prayer my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Communion Antiphon Father, I pray for them that they may be one in us so that the world may believe it, that it was you who sent me, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. We go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.